Okay, so it's recording, so whenever you're ready. <laughs> How many of you have pets? Imagine a wildfire breaks out near your home and you're told you need to evacuate. Would you know what to do or what resources are available to you? For my communication capstone project, I examined disaster crisis communication and its connection to local emergency management agencies and how these agencies communicate the evacuation process as well as resources available to families with pets during disasters, specifically wildfires. Disaster crisis communication focuses specifically on large-scale events which require the coordination of various entities, including public and private actors. The Stafford Act now includes the Pet Evacuation and Transportation Standards, or PETS Act, which was put into place following Hurricane Katrina. This act requires states to include pets in their evacuation planning in order to receive federal funding for disaster relief. So since pets are considered part of our families, it is vital to communicate the need to quickly, safely, and effectively evacuate families with pets during wildfire. My findings indicate that simple connections between local emergency management agencies and local animal shelters are not adequate to solve this issue. So let's go back to that wildfire you're evacuating for. You and your pet are already stressed enough, so wouldn't it be more stressful to need to be separated? During the recent Valley Fire in California, many pet owners were faced with just such a situation. Because they own pets, they were unable to utilize the shelters that were set up for them during the evacuation process, which meant that they were forced to take shelter in the tent, tents in mud and rain outside because they were unwilling to leave their pets. So I recommend that stakeholders develop strategic plans that will identify ways to shelter families with their pets whenever possible. I also recommend that local emergency management agencies develop multiple levels of, pu of public awareness utilizing traditional media as well as social media to achieve this awareness. So my disaster crisis communication plan incorporates communication with emergency management to attempt to raise awareness as well as create a, create a plan to help families and pets shelter together so that they're better prepared. So this communication plan is a generalized plan that is set up and is able to be adjusted based on the emergency management agency as well as the affected community. So if you are already stressed, I can guarantee that your pet is as well. A disaster crisis communication plan can decrease the stress associated with the evacuation process and mitigate any risks involved with evacuation. So if you're ever told to evacuate in the event of a wildfire, think about the plan that your community has in place and be aware of the messages that are communicated by your local emergency management agency. Your pet will thank you.